Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I got a pretty cool uh, unboxing for you guys today. Uh, new addition to the shop. Uh, we finally got the CNC, CNC Labs long mill. 30 by 30, 30 inch by 30 inch uh, workspace, four inches of Z height. You can see I built this massive table here. This machine's gonna take up most of the table. It's gonna be about four feet square, a couple inches on one side to add a uh, control box and things like that. Uh, we're gonna do an unboxing here. Uh, excuse the mess in the shop. I've had to move things all over the place to make room for this, uh, this table and have room to work on it. So let's get to unboxing this thing. All right, guys, first thing you see when you open the box, looks like everything's gonna be double boxed. Uh, we got some labels here on the packaging. Um, this package came all the way from Canada to uh, central Alabama. So I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take everything out of the box, everything out of all of the boxes and do my best to lay them on top of the boxes they were put in for shipping. So you can kind of see where um, where things are stored and, and whatnot. And we're gonna see if we can find the instructions in here to put it together. All right, so here's what we have. Um, this is all the boxes that were in the larger box, minus this this long one. I took the, took the box off. They put some wood here on the end to keep the um, lead screws and things from breaking out. It's pretty, pretty neat idea, uh, but that was, all of this stuff got looks like some stickers, instructions, little wrench here, power supply, data cable, screws, um, some type of plate, standoffs, everything in this box. It's all your 3D printed pieces. This box is actually empty. I, I did not order the router. I ordered everything but the router because I wanted to source that locally. So that was probably what would have been in there. Got our Z gantry, Y gantry. Here's all our electronics. The cables are actually braided. It's pretty neat. Stepper motors, um, spindle mount, router mount, e-stop button, touch plate. We'll see how that works. Control boards down here, dust shoe, some end mills. So, I've heard everything from an eight hour build to one and a half hours to get everything set up, the table's done. So we're just gonna get after it. I'm not gonna do a build video. There's plenty of those out there, but if anybody's interested in what it looks like when you unbox one of these, now you know. Uh, anyway, hope you guys will like, share, subscribe. If you like videos like this, there's gonna be more CNC content coming along with uh, maybe some video updates on some of the projects I started at the beginning of the year before COVID hit. So um, see you guys in the next one.